now a museum of pharmacy. It was a working pharmacy up until the 60s, and then they closed it, turned it into a museum. Dear soul, the Bible declares that one day you will die and then stand face to face with God to be judged. And as it has appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment is what one of God says in Hebrews 9.27. Nothing in your entire life could be more important than being ready for that day because it will determine whether you will spend eternity in heaven or in hell. And we are here today to proclaim glory of Jesus Christ, who is the Lord, who paid the price for you and for me. A little more than 2,000 years ago, Lord Jesus came to this earth and died for our sins. Because the Word of God says that we all are sinners, we born in sin. But God so loved this world, He sent only His begotten Son. Who paid the price, who took the sins of the world, died and rose from the dead. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Have you thought about your life? Have you thought about your soul? Where are you going to go? God kept you alive today that you could think and I watch inside of your heart according to the word of God. Maybe you never, never heard about the word of God. Maybe you never read about the word of God. But I'm here to proclaim the glory of Jesus Christ who loves you. And I share with you about this wonderful news that we have today the grace of the Lord, the mercy of the Lord. To know that Jesus is only and only the way to be saved because only Jesus died for our sins and only Jesus rose from the dead. Think about your life. Because one day you'll see God face to face. And you're going to ask her for your life. If you call yourself as a good person, it's not enough. Our Holy said that we all born in sin. And a punishment for sin is death. Someone in need to pray for you. And Jesus, he who prayed for you, he gave his own life. And he shed his precious blood. We surely could wash us from all our sins. Life is temporary. We cannot stay on this earth. You may not believe in God. It's your choice. But I'm telling you that one day you'll meet God. But you have an opportunity to be saved and be forgiven only until you're still alive on this earth. When you're going to finish this life, it's going to be too late. You want to have any other opportunities. Jesus is the Lord. And the kingdom of heaven is near. The Lord is coming back to restore his kingdom. Maybe you, you were born in a different culture. In a different religion. A lot of religions that teach their own way that you could become better and better by yourself. But it's a lie. We cannot become better by ourselves. That's why Jesus died, because only he could help and he helped when he gave his own life. When he could give the grace and power of the Holy Spirit. When he met us and give us the power to change, to be changed. We need to be changed. We need to change our life. This is a gospel, wonderful news. Everyone who is going to believe in Jesus Christ, who is the Lord, who is the begotten Son of God Almighty, going to be forgiven. This is the word of God, and I declare the mercy and grace and the power and the love of God.
God loves you, dear soul. That's why God commands to you to repent and believe in the gospel. You need to believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose for your sanctification. But if you attend the church or wear a chain with a cross or a member, this doesn't mean that you are saved. You need to born again. You need to change your life. You need to know Jesus personally. But only Jesus could do it. And only Jesus could give you grace. He is the Savior. And I only can share with you about Jesus. I cannot save you. But I can tell you who could save you. Jesus Christ is the name of great King, Lord, and God. He said that He is the truth. And He is the truth. He is the life. He is the way. 